will need the grace of God to walk free after 2023 if Tinubu APC wins. Chris Feinborn. The Rivers APC Publicity Secretary Chris Feinborn has declared that the River State Governor Yeson Wiki will need the grace of God to walk free after 2023 if APC and its presidential candidate Bala Tinubu win the presidential election. Feinborn, who made this declaration recently while noting that this was why Wiki was desperate for an alliance with Tinubu and APC, he argued that as things stood, the River State Governor needed protection post 2023. In his words, We know that the desperate party or side in this entire calculation is Wiki. Reason is that head or tail with Atiku, he will lose. Assuming without conceding that Atiku wins, he will surely put away Wiki in a cold manner. Wiki understands this. In a scenario where Asuraju APC wins, Wiki deserves the grace of God to walk free. He needs the protection post 2023 so badly. Notably, Feinborn appears convinced that as things stand, the only alliance Tinubu and APC will help Wiki remain relevant and protected politically after 2023. Does Wiki need protection after 2023? Well, let's look at what the first comments are saying. Well, Tinubu is not going to win. Everyone working in Nigeria right now is by the grace of God. So fish or oh, fine burn, very you know, confusing. Uh, fine burn, the more you talk, the more you go down, you are finished. Well, I think there's, there's a lot of confidence in this man, fine burn. Just very confident in the fact that APC will win. And it's just, you know, yes, obviously he is part of the party. And so you'd expect... Of course, you support your family, you support where you belong, but you just got to be realistic. Well, he says, at least if, you know, um, APC wins or when they win, and, you know, that kind of confidence is shown in the fact that he says that the only way PDP would win is if APC concedes. And it's like, okay, how are you that confident that you are going to win? Well, really, whether we keep this protection or not is none of Nigerians' business. Um, maybe for those that are politically in his space, he's have to, he's going to have to find a new home, or you know a home or a political party that would support his ambitions and also take him in, and you know he'd be trusted and all that. But when it comes to how this will affect Nigerians and their priority, it's absolutely relevant because really I don't know what Wiki must have done to touch or to have an impact on the Nigerian. Um, or Nigerian citizens, for us to, or for the Nigerian citizens to be like, you know what, we protect you. Because really, I don't think Wiki would need protection from the people, but wherever he wouldn't have to need protection from is really not relevant. Well, I guess in this case, Chris Feinborn really does believe that APC will win no matter what, and that if APC doesn't win, it, the situation would have to be that they decided to, you know, step down or step out of the competition. So it's like, okay, fine. It's either we win or we just don't want to win. Very confident. Very cocky. Uh, well, this was one of the reasons why Wiki was not picked. Because he misbehaves or he acts when he is not supposed to act. He is getting younger. He is a completely... Or he's a complete betrayal. But, I mean, how are you so sure of the reason? Again, obviously, with the way you also view Wiki and you bringing up your own judgment on him being, you know, immature and all that... Well, that is, I guess, from what you have seen. But then behind closed doors, whatever argument that they have, they only have the privilege of them to actually think and decide on what to do. So you can't really say what the reason was because of your personal assessment of Wiki. But at the end of the day, you know, I think we should actually take politics seriously where it's not necessarily like, oh, wow, new gist on politician or police celebrities if then you want to put it that way it's like we almost see these politicians and celebrities and whatever drama or beef they have between each other or this person doesn't like this person this person rejected this person i mean it's like how is that important for what nigerians want to achieve or the kind of person they want to put in office it is very irrelevant so it's like okay fine the personal convictions that you have you can discuss that but at this point in nigeria's electoral process we're not looking at personal relationships or what we personally think of people. 
but if they're up to the task and can do their job so if you're looking for your hope in pdp or apc then maybe this is a conversation that is relevant to you and you may really want to engage in but if you're not really looking for apc or pdp to give you what you want then i don't think you're affected by this conversation that much to be honest well there are also obviously more conversations to be had about this but looking at the comments first he's confused and trying to survive after 2023 politics calculation well what is his concern wiki is apc and apc is wiki even without wiki tinubu is going to win the election and it's funny because it must have been wiki who invited samuel from lagos for the commission of a new project and it was just it was like why because first of all it's a new project why maybe it seems like wiki is trying to you know rob and you know get familiar just so convenient try to get familiar with those in the in the apc and of course with rumors going around saying he was rejected his he didn't, his ambitions didn't go as planned it's like everyone is giving him interpretations on what to do you know what it's it's sad but again this is just i guess politician drama because frankly it does nothing does nothing for for anyone so it is what it is well let's also see our politicians are not even ashamed he will walk freely did he tell you that he is corrupt nobody who has money is afraid of efcc again unlike before efcc has become a toothless bulldog wasn't fire the one that told the FCC would do him this and that. Now, Fireshay, now is Fireshay not walking free? EFCC can't do anything more than in, invite, arrest, detain briefly, and then prosecute. The court will then grant, grant bail and the case will drag on. Well, unfortunate, but it seems like that has been the pattern. Tinubu is not a witch hunter, too many jobs at hand. Probing is nothing but distraction and a way of heating the policy unnecessarily. The same people that will say probe will turn against him when probes fight back. Okay. Wiki is confused and probably looking for a soft landing for himself. Well, that, that's very, very true. But for him to contemplate joining APC shows that APC and PDP are really the same. Exactly. I mean, come on. They're literally one party. So... You might as well just, they might as well just even merge, to be honest, and make the decision easier for Nigerians not to pick them. It's as simple as that. Put what you think about it in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.